Hello viewers, how are you all? Wondering if this is a cake for Janmashtami or Krishna Jayanti? No, it's a beautiful rangoli which was drawn specially for you all. While showing the making of this beautiful rangoli, I thought about telling you few facts about Janmashtami, why and how we celebrate Janmashtami too. Hey everyone, please be ready to have a wonderful treat of the making of this beautiful rangoli. This rangoli comprises of Lord Krishna's favorite peacock feathers and a flute with cute little toes of Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna is one of the favorite deities of Hindus, is it not? All Hindus consider him as their hero, protector, teacher and friend. The Krishna Janmashtami celebrations are held throughout our country and also in various parts of the globe. The Krishna Janmashtami festival is known by several names such as Krishna Ashtami, Gokul Ashtami, Sri Krishna Jayanti, Sri Jayanti, Janmashtami. It's an occasion to celebrate the rich persona of Lord Krishna who took birth to dispel evil and spread the message of love and universal brotherhood. Moreover, Janmashtami is an extremely rewarding devotional experience. The performance of Rasa Leela, distribution of gifts are just some of the unique aspects of this extremely lively and vibrant Hindu festival of Krishna Jayanti. Let's see why Krishna Janmashtami is being celebrated. He was the eighth son of the princess Devaki and King Vasudeva. It's believed that Lord Krishna was born in Mathura, which is located in the present day Mathura district of Uttar Pradesh. He belonged to the Vishnu clan of Yadavas from Mathura. King Kamsa, the brother of Devaki, then ruled Mathura. He captured the throne by imprisoning his father, King Ugrasena. Kamsa was a cruel ruler. He tortured the people of Mathura. Everybody wanted to get freed from the evil rule of Kamsa. There was a prophecy that had predicted that Kamsa would die at the hands of Devaki's eighth son. Hearing this prophecy, Kamsa got afraid and he locked Devaki and Vasudeva in a prison cell. Kamsa began to kill Devaki's son one after the other. When she was about to give birth to her eighth son, Lord Vishnu appeared to them and told them to take the son to Nanda and Eshoda. When Krishna took birth, Vasudeva took him to Gokul, crossing the Yamuna river and quietly placed the child beside Yashoda. He returned with Yashoda's daughter. Kamsa thinking the child to be the eighth son of Devaki threw her on a stone. But she transformed herself into Yogamaya and warned Kamsa that he would be killed at the hands of Krishna. Later on, when Krishna grew up, he returned to Madhura and killed Kamsa. Everybody in Madhura rejoiced at Kamsa's killing at the hands of Krishna and praised the Lord for freeing them from the evil rule of Kamsa. Okay, let's see how Krishna's birthday is celebrated. Lord Krishna is believed to be born at midnight on Janmashtami day. The celebrations reach their height during the midnight of the Janmashtami day normally. The Janmashtami celebrations are special in Madhura. Vrindavan, Gokul and Dwaraka. The celebrations are marked by devotional songs, dances, pujas and arti. Temples are decorated and people keep awake all night on Janmashtami. Dance and drama are a special part of the Janmashtami celebrations. The deity of Krishna is decorated with flowers and garlands. The idol of Krishna is also bathed with a variety of auspicious liquids. Infancy images and small idols of Krishna are placed in cradles in temples and homes. They are elaborately decorated with ornaments, flowers and beautiful clothes. Devotees usually fast on the day of Janmashtami. Prasad is distributed after the conclusion of the birth ceremony of Lord Krishna. Let's take a glimpse of the Janmashtami festivals in various parts of India. Janmashtami celebrations are at their peak in cities like Mathura, Gokul and Vrindavan. People from all parts of India throng to these places to take part in Janmashtami celebrations. Dancing, songs, drama performance, puja rituals and artis are the hallmark of Janmashtami festivities. Particularly in Mumbai and Pune, Janmashtami or Gokulashtami are celebrated as Dahi Handi. People in South India celebrate Janmashtami with a great joy and favor. They decorate their houses, they sing devotional songs in praise of Lord Krishna, verses of Bhagavad Gita are also recited. Lord Krishna's idols are decorated. People offer sweets and fruits to Lord Krishna. Young children are dressed like Lord Krishna. Hope you all like this video viewers to know about when, how and why we celebrate Janmashtami while watching the making of this beautiful rangoli depicting the significance of Lord Krishna with his favorite peacock feathers, flute along with the tiny cute little toes of Lord Krishna. 
Hope you all have plans to decorate your home by drawing this kind of colorful rangoli and rake up the ambience of your home to welcome our beloved Lord Krishna. I believe you all like this video. If so, please like, subscribe to my Kolam Party channel and don't forget to hit the bell button nearby. I'll meet you again with another superb video. Till then, goodbye and thank you. Wish you all a wonderful, colorful Janmashtami celebrations. Thank you.